Angela Merkel's deputy has lashed out at European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, claiming the EU's vaccine rollout really went to s asterisk 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 in a caustic rant. Vice Chancellor Olaf Scholz did not hold back, pinning the blame for the problems the bloc has experienced with procuring sufficient doses of COVID-19 jabs squarely on the shoulders of the former German defense minister. Mr. Scholz, who is the deputy leader of the center-left Social Democratic Party SPD, services in the coalition government led by Chancellor Mrs. Merkel, offered an angry assessment of both the commission and Mrs. von der Leyen during a cabinet meeting on Monday, German newspaper Bild claimed. He declared the vaccine procurement process really went to s asterisk asterisk asterisk, adding he did not want the s asterisk 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 to repeat itself now within his own country. Furthermore, Mr. Scholz declared that what is going on in Brussels with the EU Commission and von der Leyen was the next mess. Mrs. Merkel herself initially opted to allow Mr. Scholz to vent his spleen, although reportedly intervened when he mentioned Mrs. von der Leyen by name. Mr. Scholz's blunt assessment came after Mrs. von der Leyen was subjected to a grilling in the European Parliament on Tuesday over the slow rollout and shortage of vaccines. The crisis followed news that AstraZeneca would cut its supply of vaccines to the bloc until March by 60% due to production problems. Even with the addition of an extra 9 million doses which Ms. von der Leyen announced on Sunday, the shortfall is at least 50%. Questions are also being asked about the Commission's decision, swiftly reversed, to invoke Article 16 of the Brexit Agreement's Northern Ireland Protocol. The move, part of the EU's effort to boost vaccine supply for its member states, would have set up border checks on the island of Ireland. Speaking to MEPs during Tuesday's session, Ms. von der Leyen sought to defuse criticism. Asked by one reporter if she would apologize, she said she regretted that Article 16 was in a provisional version of the decision, but said the EU executive had been quick on its feet to find another solution. Dacian Cholos, president of the Liberal Renew Europe group, said mistakes could have grave consequences. He added, we have no margin for error in this process. Not only does the credibility of the EU and in particular the European Commission depend on it but also the health and well-being of our citizens.